Hello everybody and welcome back to the Little Gamer 81 channel. Today I am going to be showing you how you can soft mod your Wii U. So all you so let's just get started. So all you will need is your console, a computer, a SD card. Uh you want it to be like 16 gigs cuz like 32 gigabytes and higher it just like the Wii U doesn't read it. And that's like that's pretty much it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your system settings. Oh, oh, dang it! Uh, so you want to go to system settings. And you want to. So here, I don't know if you could see it, but like, uh, uh, I'm gonna put it, but like right here on the on this like menu, where it says. Where it has this like version where the three is at, like 5.3.0, on your gamepad, you want to go and check that same spot. So like the upper right corner of your gamepad, you want to make sure the latest version is 5.5.5. So once you make sure that you're on the latest version, you just want to exit out of system settings and. Now all you will need to do is get your SD card and put it into your PC. So I'll see you there. So on your PC, once you put in your SD card, you want to go to Chrome and click on these four links that I'll leave in the description. And you just, for these Google Drive ones, just press the download button up here and just save it to your desktop or somewhere. You, I would save it to the desktop. It's easier to access there. Then for these, like the homebrew launcher, press download, press save, then the apps, the homebrew app store, download, and just save. Then for this Google Drive one, press the download button, and press save. And then you can close out a Chrome. Now here on your desktop is going to be the files. And you just want to right click on all of these. And if you're on Windows 10, right click on one of them. Then press this show more options. And press extract to and then the file. If you're on Windows 10, this th like this menu will already show up. But if you're, if you're on Windows 11, just right click then press show more options and then pr just press extract to th and then the file name so just do that for all the files and once you do that you can put these files in the recycle bin so now that you have these files you wanna open up your SD card Uh, sorry about that. And any pre-existing like folders and stuff that you have on here, the home it's not going to be affected by the it, it's not going to affect the homebrew and the homebrew isn't going to affect it. So you can just leave those files and be safe. So the first thing you want to do, open up the homebrew launcher folder, then right then drag this Wii U folder to the root of the SD card to copy it and then you can close out of this and then open up the Wii U folder on the on your SD card then on your desktop open up this JS type hacks the payload then open up the Wii U then drag this payload into into the into the SD card inside the Wii U folder and then, uh, 
you can close out this other tab. Then open the App Store folder on your desktop and open up this Wii U folder in here and then open the apps folder and you should see an app store folder so open right so after you had after you put in the payload in here open up the app store folder so just app it, open up this one then open the Wii U folder and then this apps folder and there should be an app store folder in here so then on your SD card open up this apps folder and then copy this into the apps folder on your SD card and close out of that then open up the Wii U homebrew add-ons then open up this add-ons folder and you're going to see copies of the app store and the homebrew launcher folder so you just wanna drag these onto the SD card and then just press replace files in the destination and once that's done you should be good to go so after this just close out of the tabs take out your SD card and I'll see you back on the console so back on your Wii U after you put in your SD card uh, you want to go to the internet browser oh, sorry my Wiimote doesn't work very well alright so open up the internet browser And then on your gamepad, well, right, so on your gamepad, you want to press the little loop that's on like the bottom. Right, uh, actually, no, at the top, it, there's this place that says enter URL, so just press on there. And then on the gamepad, you're going to want to enter uh, Wii U dot console.guide slash exploit which I'll put I'll leave a link in the description actually no uh, I'll, I'll leave it up on screen right now so just type that in on your gamepad guide slash exploit press OK and then it's going to do, it's going to s it's going to take you to this website so on your gamepad just press run exploit and if you did everything correctly and you give the Wii U a minute it should take you it, th this menu should show up and then it's going to take you to the homebrew menu so there you go now, if now sometimes in the process of doing this, the Wii U will freeze. It'll like freeze up, and you can tell if it's frozen or not by like like if you leave it like more than ten seconds and it doesn't do anything, or if the little me on the on the bottom on the bottom left of the gamepad isn't moving, then it's frozen, and you just have to turn your console off, turn it back on, and then do those steps again. So then you press Homebrew App Store, then press Load, and you have to do the, all of this on your gamepad. I forgot to mention this, but when you first load up the Homebrew App Store, it's going to take uh, a little long. It's going to take a while for it to actually load up because it's got to like download all these assets and everything. So it so for me that didn't happen because I had already homebrewed my Wii U. I just Un I just undid it and then like did it again so that I could you know like show you guys so sorry about that and anyways let's just get back to the video so press minus to quit the app and then here you have like mocha custom firmware so if you launch this it's going to boot you back into the oh well this is going to show up uh 
this keep this a default. Let's keep this menu on launch. Uh you, you just want to keep all these settings the same, just like show launch image, you want to turn that on. And then once you do that, just press A to launch it. And what that's going to do is launch custom firmware, which like will allow you to like play like custom games, which I'll show you how to do in like a future video. So on your screen, it's going to show this like gamepad. It's going to say CFW Mocha and some, some like other text. That's just going to mean like it's booting up the custom firmware. So once that's done, you're pretty much set. So back on your Wii U, after you put in your SD card, uh, you want to go to the internet browser. So, open up the internet browser, and then on your gamepad, well, wait, so on your gamepad, you want to press the little loop that's on, like, the bottom, wait, uh, actually, no, at the top, it, there's this place that says enter URL, so just press on there. And then on the gamepad, you're going to want to enter uh, Wii U.console.guide slash exploit, which I'll put, I'll leave a link in the description. Actually, no, uh, I'll, I'll leave it up on screen right now. So just type that in on your gamepad. exploit press ok and then it's going to it's going to s it's going to take you to this website so on your gamepad just press run exploit and if you did everything correctly and you give the Wii U a minute it should take you it th this menu should show up and then it's going to take you to the homebrew menu so there you go now if now sometimes in the process of doing this the Wii U will freeze it'll like freeze up and you can tell if it's frozen or not by like like if you leave it like more than 10 seconds and it doesn't do anything or if the little me on the on the bottom on the bottom left of the gamepad isn't moving then it's frozen and you just have to Turn your console off, turn it back on, and then do those steps again. So then you press Homebrew App Store, then press Load, and you have to do the, all of this on your gamepad. So, this to quit the app. And then here you have like Mocha custom firmware. So, if you launch this, it's going to boot you back into the. Oh, well, this is going to show up. Uh. Just keep this a default. Let's keep this menu on launch. Uh, you, you just want to keep all these settings the same. Just like show launch image, you want to turn that on. And then once you do that, just press A to launch it. And what that's going to do is launch custom firmware, which like will allow you to like play like custom games, which I'll show you how to do in like a future video. So on your screen, it's going to show this like gamepad. It's gonna say CFW Mocha and some, some like other text. That's just gonna mean like it's booting up the custom firmware. So once that's done, you're pretty much set. But if you want to get back into Homebrew, you just go back to the internet browser. And on the gamepad, really quickly at the top left, there's going to be like a like a door, and you want to click that. And then 
here if you if you want to bookmark it just press the little me on the bottom at the bottom left of the screen and there's going to be like a uh, I actually so you you would like go back to the exploit website then press on the little me then press uh, wait hold up Oh yeah, so for example, you would press on the little me and then on the bottom of the gamepad on the bottom left it would I mean on the bottom right it would say like add f like there would be like a plus and it would be like add 5.5.x exploit. You would just press on that and it would add like to the bookmarks. And then if you press like in the top left like the en like enter start page it'll show up here in your bookmarks if it doesn't show if it doesn't no if it doesn't show up in like this area just press like the little me that's like down here on your gamepad and on the gamepad it should show up there so anyways i hope you i hope this video helped you if it did consider leaving a like maybe comment subscribe and see you in the next video